In this video, we're gonna derive one relation S is equals to K log W. This is called Boltzmann's entropy probability relation. This is the topic from statistical physics first year. S is your entropy and W is your probability. So let's derive it. Now students, we consider let entropy is the function of probability let s is equals to f of w watch it carefully i'll explain you it in very easy way it's very easy topic right so let us consider two systems system a and system b right so we have already known that s is the function of probability so for system a sa is will be equals to f of w a for system b sb is equals to f of w b now Combined probability. What is the combined probability? Combined probability will always be in the form of multiplication, right? So probability, combined probability is in the form of multiplication w a dot w b. Again, combined entropy is in the form of addition. Will always be in the form of addition, right? So let's give this equation two. Now from equation two, you got this, right? Combine, combine entropy, right? So combined entropy is this. So from equation 1 by 1 by 1 you knew that s is the function of w right so this s so s a b should be the function of f of w a b right because s is the function of f w that means s a b should also be the function of f a w right so this can be written like this by 1 so again what is f a w what is a w a w can be written as w a dot w p w a dot w p so <clears throat> we knew that again what is this s is s is your what s is your entropy right what is the combined entropy combined entropy is always in the form of addition right from here from equation 2 right so this can be written as sa plus sb so equals to again now just write it the same as it is now what is this sa again sa can be written as s is the already function of w right s is already the function of w so sa can be written as function of w a s b can be written as function of w b equals to this right let's keep it as equation number three now students on partially differentiating this equation three with respect to w a and w b will differentiate partially uh, will differentiate it partially okay so you must have known the rule for partial differentiation is suppose del by del x of x plus y think that it is there right del by del x of x plus y if you are differentiating partially with respect to x then y will become zero right this will be del by del x of x will be one and y for other it is zero for another variable the partial differentiation is always zero right you will consider another variable as constant this is the difference between ordinary uh, ordinary differentiation and partial differentiation so on differentiating three partially with respect to w a let's let's differentiate first with respect to w a so w a this means f dash of w a right this means f dash of w a f dash of w b with respect on differentiating partially with respect to w a w b is constant right this will be zero fine and then this is the in the form of what f of u v right what is d by dx of d by dx of u u v then this is a product rule right u dash v plus u v dash fine i have already taught you in many videos about this rule this is your product rule for differentiation so it is in the form of like this right del by del w a of f of f of w a dot w b right so this means what now on differentiating partially with respect to w a now what is u here so if it is in the form of function then first you will differentiate with with respect to function and secondly you will differentiate with respect to its element so differentiation of this function is f dash w a dot w b 
then suppose this this different differentiation of partial differentiation of function will always be the constant right this is f dash we, we don't know what is the value of w a or w b so just write f dash now inside value we will differentiate again with respect to element fine so w a w b is there suppose this is u this is v right so on partially differentiating with respect to w a let us consider this is u right so that means u dash will be one right u dash with respect to w a it will be one this will be w b right u dash b plus plus right u v dash now it is this is u this is v u v dash but when you differentiate w b with respect to w a this whole term will become zero right this term will become zero because we are differenti partially differentiating with respect to w a and w b will be treated as constant so only this part will remain that is w b uh, into f dash of w a dot w b right so similarly when you partially differentiate with respect to w b you will get this one right so uh, divide equation of 4 by 5 now on dividing 4 by 5 you will get like this right so this this thing will get cancelled out these two will get cancelled on division so just multi cross multiply it then what is this again f dash of w a now see here for two systems w a w a into f dash of w a is equals to w b into f dash of w b if it, there will be three systems then w c f dash of w c f dash of w c if there were four systems then it will become w d f dash of w d right it will go on suppose it will go on so let's assume that this is equals to k suppose right this all is equals to k we can assume it this is the rule of mathematics right so suppose this all is equals to k so we consider only the first part now let this will be equals to k fine so f dash w a will be equal to k upon w a now on integrating with respect to w a now what is d by dx of d by dx of log x is what is equals to 1 by x right so on this on differentiating with respect to w a now this is in the form of 1 by w a right that is 1 by x so when you integrate on integrating this this integration and this will get cancel each other right so 1 by x integration of 1 by x is log x similarly integration of 1 by w a is log w a k is already a constant and here this will get cancelled out this integration and this differentiation will get cancelled out so you will get out to be this much right similarly for f of w b will be this much similarly for w c w d right if there are infinite systems then this will go on so finally we got the result we know that s is the function of fw here s is the function of fw so fw should fw can be written as s right fw so just consider this all to be fw right f of w a w b right this will go on so in general let's consider s fw right so this will become s is equals to k log and w a w b is w right in general plus c so but for 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 perfect order for perfect order this value of c will be equals to zero that means this equation will become s is equals to k log w which was your required proof so if you want you can note it down i'll zoom it out clearly i hope you can take a screenshot also so hope this uh, this thing is clear to you hopefully thank you for watching